Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm an analytics architect with IBM's Maximo Asset Management product. And I'm really excited for the demonstration today of new ad hoc reporting features introduced in Maximo 7608. And Maximo 7608 was released in May 2017. These new ad hoc features enable a variety of different ad hoc or QBR reports that your users are able to create. And the specific feature is in enabling the display or the configurable display of applying a dynamic query on a saved ad hoc report. Well, let's take a look at how this is set up. First, I'm going to go to the system property application and I'm going to do a quick filter and the filter I'm going to do is add dynamic. And this is the new property setting again that is added in 7608 and the Description is to enable the display of the Add Dynamic Application Query checkbox on the dialog. In this case, I'm going to set it to No. This is the default behavior, default being what we've seen from 7600 through 7607. So again, the Add Dynamic Query, I'm not going to see. The other very important consideration is to look at Report Administration. In this case, I have set up some security group limits and I'm going to filter on our user or our security group, which is max admin. And let's look at the preview limits. I've set the preview limit to 200. This is going to become extremely as important when we go and we create our ad hoc reports. Well, let's see how this all comes together. I'm going to come over here to work order tracking. And as I come to work order tracking, my default query is Bedford work orders. It's 478. And remember that 478 is greater than our preview filter. So let's come in here and let's create a report. I'm going to call my report Bedford work. And notice here that I don't see any additional fields. This is the same behavior again that I see from 7600 through 7607. No additional fields. I want to preview my report. He immediately gives me a message, hey Pam, you can't preview because your application query 478 is greater than my preview limit. I'm okay with that. I still really love this report. So I'm going to go ahead and run and save that. The save portion always takes a little bit longer because we're actually generating a report design file on the fly and saving it to the database. Well, it's saved, but again, he's telling me I can't preview it because the 478, my application query, is greater than my preview limit. I'm okay with that. Let me come over here and let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's see if I can get under 200. I just did a filter on my location. Now let's come over and run reports. Here's my Bedford work that I just created. I'll click Submit. Now let's see what's going to happen. He goes ahead and runs again because my 100 was a value there. 176 is greater than my preview limit. And let's come to the very end. Here's my saved query, which resulted in greater than 200 records. Here's my dynamic query. The dynamic query is applied or appended to that saved query to give me the results I need for my report. Let's just take a quick look at this back in report admin so we can see what this looks like. My Bedford work, I believe, was the description I used. Here it is right here. And look right here what happens. Here's my limit records. It's automatically applied to my ad hoc report. And now it's ensuring that my user always stays within that fresh threshold. That's really, really important for us to maintain those record limits that we might want to have. So that's our existing functionality. Well, now let me switch over to a different environment that I have configured. And let's look at that system property again. I'm going to filter here for Add Dynamic. In this case, I've set it to 1. OK, I want my users to be able to determine if that field is available or not. OK, so we know what the system property value is. Let's go back to Report Admin. Let's make sure that we have that same preview filter applied, max admin. There it is right there, 200. OK, so I have everything pretty much the same with the exception of now I should be able to see that dynamic query. Come over here to work order tracking. Here's my Bedford work, 470. Well, now let's create a report and look what happens. 
Now I see a new field, add the dynamic application query. Well, that's nice. So I'm going to say Bedford work, no dynamic query. Okay. I don't want to apply that. I always want this report to execute against my save query only. What happens if I click preview? Again, my, it's not letting me run because my, my application query number here, excuse me, my record is 470. My preview limit is set as uh, 200. But let me go ahead and run and com save the completed report. Again, takes a little bit longer because we're writing that file to the database. It goes ahead and saves it, but it's not previewing it. Perfect. That's exactly what I expect. But now let me run this report. Here's my no dynamic query. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on a minute. Let me come back here. Let me put that filter on. So now I'm at 172. We want to make sure that you see what the difference is. Apologize. So now, again, I'll pick that, and I'm going to click Submit. And so now what the user is going to see, which is so interesting, is he sees that it runs against the save query, but the dynamic query is not enabled for the report. So even though I only had, or even though I had the 172 records in my current application query, my report is ignoring those. And I see that if I look at the last page of my ad hoc report, it tells me the dynamic query is not enabled, it's not applied. So the report is always running against the save query only. And you can see in this case that is ignoring the preview limits, it's not saved so I can execute against a greater number of records. Again, that may or may be important in a use case for you or not. Well, now let me go back and let's try the opposite. Let's create a report. So I'm gonna say Bedford work, add, or apply is probably a better word, apply dynamic query. Oh goodness, if I was only a speller. Enable that field, preview, it's not going to let me preview 470 is greater than 200, but let me go ahead and run that. So again, notice how I saved that individual field. It saves it, but it won't let me preview it. No problem. I understand. Let me come over here and I'll filter on asset in this case. So I have 176 records. So now when I run reports, I'm going to do the or select the QBR report where the add application queries available, click submit. And now let's take a look at that last page. So this is my saved query. So now in this case, look at my dynamic query. I chose that I wanted to apply it at runtime. So I see that extra filter that is available. It brought down my record limits again, because I'm adding both the saved and the dynamic query at runtime. So the last thing I want to show you here is let's take a peek at what these two reports look like over in Report Administration. Um, I, sorry, I blanked on what I called these. Okay, here's the no dynamic query. In this case, I'm not applying the dynamic query, so I don't have record limits enabled. And then my other one for applying the application query, I can have my record limits enabled, and that is brought over or set as the default from my preview record limit. So again, what we're trying to highlight here is now with the addition of this field from your applications, you have more variety in determining if you want to apply the query the dynamic query to your saved ad hoc report or not, but carefully consider this feature because it is going to have an impact on how your record limits are applied to your ad hoc reports. So I hope you enjoy this new feature in 7608 and thank you very much for your time.